Hey folks. All right, it's uh, Friday afternoon. We've got Jackson over at Grandma's, over my folks' trailer. Uh, they're taking him for a while. Michelle just went to walk Henry, which means I have a few minutes to give you guys a real world messy tour <laughs> of our trailer. So, uh, so here we go. All right, here is the one of our two doors. Uh, this is the one that comes into the living room and right on a corner to that is Jackson's uh, bunkhouse. So this is where Jackson usually sleep. We have this uh, little pop-up tent. Uh, he's in there, it's on the bed, and uh, we've got his white noise sound machine and a temperature and baby monitor right in here. The bottom bunk can hold around 300 pounds. Top bunk, we just have some miscellaneous items for him that's up here. Um, this is where we prep his, uh, his outfit for the day and uh, can hold 150 pounds. And then all this closet space is gonna be for him. Let's see, this is good accessories. All this, some haven't even been used, so. And I think you guys saw in the previous video when we were uh, testing the soundproofing, it's worked out pretty well, so no complaints there. All right, coming out of the bedroom, uh, the first thing I'll note is that these barn doors for, from Grand Design, like, they look great. It looks nice. Um, they kind of come off the rails pretty easily, so um, got a little frustrating this week, but we found a pretty quick way to be able to get them back on the rails and to be able to hold it, lock it in place. Um, off of the bunkhouse, this is uh, our theater seating. And um, then we have our dinette that's here. Uh, the freestanding table here is uh, typically strapped down. I'll lift the blanket up. Is uh, strapped down so it doesn't really go anywhere. And then I'm going to back up so you can see first Henry's kennel. That's where he stays um, whenever he goes to nap or during the night. And then we have a place where uh, Toby stays whenever he's napping or for the night. And then we have Jackson's high chair over here. Michelle is just getting back with Henry from a walk. Did he poop? Just pee. He just peed. All right. And then we have a bouncer for Jackson over here. And then we have a little rug where he could lay down and play as well. Uh, up top on this end, we have our TV, um, uh, audio system, and then this is our uh, uh, refrigerator. Gas electric, not 12 volt like we wanted, uh, but microwave, um, vent, stove, they're your typical things, and then a nice um, large sink in the corner. Uh, we have this extended countertop. I don't think we've used that, right? Mm -mm. We haven't really used it, um, but I'm sure it'll come in handy at some point. Moving into the bathroom, um, windows over here. Uh, we have the roller shade up, uh, so I'll open that up to let some light in. Um, pretty good storage space down here. And um, over here as well. You got a nice vanity mirror along with some storage in here. And then that's right opposite the shower, uh, which is a pretty decent size. And there's a little bath for Jackson. The bath actually fits in very nicely on the shower floor. So it works out pretty well when he needs to take a bath. Porcelain toilet, more storage, cubby holes. The one thing that uh, um, kind of bothered us about the shower is that this is this has the squeegee door. What we realized is that whatever, however this was designed, the railing on this side to hold the squeegee door closed, there's really not enough. Uh, there's really not enough space to to hold the door closed securely. So, what would happen is it has a hard time.
really staying closed at this point. And so it would just kind of fly open like this and uh, doesn't really hold in too well. So what we got was we got this little um, stick here and what we've done is when we close the door from the inside we have this to hold the inside of the squeegee door closed and that has worked really well for us um, and it has avoided the door flying open um, otherwise yeah the shower is pretty good the bathroom is flanked by barn doors on either side this one goes into our bedroom so we've got his and her storage on either side and then this door separates the bathroom from the living space overall we've uh, we've enjoyed this trailer so far is that right babe mm -hmm. yeah anything else what else do we like about this um, I just like that it has a door for Jackson's room so we don't disturb his sleep. Yeah, door for Jackson's room and then door for the bedroom too. Because I think what you said was that uh, when we closed both doors, yeah. either to the, from the living room to the bathroom and then bathroom to the uh, bedroom, you know, if I'm out here taking care of these guys or working or doing whatever, um, it's it doesn't really, you can't really hear it. And yeah. so that that's what we wanted. Um, and then, of course, I think Jackson's bedroom is really pretty soundproof, where we have the TV on at a decent level, um, and uh, it wouldn't wake him. He's also a deep sleeper once we get it, he gets into it as well. So you're not allowed back here. Go, go. This is not your tour. This is not your tour. All right, anyway, that's it. That's just a quick, what I call a uh, real world messy tour of, <laughs> of our trailer. Uh, you know, I, I think we see a lot of uh, trailer tours and people have them like all clean, spick and span. Um, you know, we- uh, We're not going for that? We're not going for that, no. <laughs> we, don't, we don't class ourselves up that way. <laughs> but at, at least you guys know how much space there is here. Here's another shot. At, the kitchen and how much stuff we have going on sitting around here but uh but i think if you're in the market for a bunkhouse it's definitely a good option um, especially if you have an infant and you need really good like sound control like we did so um that's it short video did you show them jackson's uh, room i did oh good i did so i think that's it short video and uh we'll see you on the next one